Hello, everyone. So related to your resume, so people should know what is there in the resume, all those basic details, right? So in resume top, okay, you need your name, right? So below that your address, professional mail ID, right? Okay, this is fine, okay. Our name only there, no problem. You need some professional mail ID, right? And followed by the number. So the, why I said long back regarding mail ID, professional mail ID to be created is when anyone open your resume, after your name, they'll see your mail ID only. Okay, so when your mail ID is okay, like something chimney, bunny, honey is not allowed because that shows you are not okay focused or maybe you are a light taking person, not interested in the job. Simple. That's what the company people will, will understand. People are not focused or maybe people are not interested to apply for the company like that they may consider. So have some professional mail ID. This is no way. The entire name is there. Fine. So with my name, mail ID is already there. You just go for okay, as you already mentioned. What my mail ID is, as I mentioned, I have some mail IDs like okay, mail to J A Man, number two, J A Man. Or mail to A Man J if it is not available. Right, at the gmail.com. So our mail to A Man J. Our mail is of two four. Mail for A Man. It makes sense. You have to mail me. Mail for A Man. Or mail to A Man. So some changes are still all those completed. Simply mail A Man. Number two remove. Mail A Man J. Mail J A Man. So try. To put some two to three minutes time. Don't give that control to Google only. When you open the Google test this mail ID, when I type my name, I use it that. Then your entire life is Google only. Right? So your life is not in your hands. There are else you just put, okay, a month 1989 or 2001, your date of birth year. You try in that way. A month, J, J, A month. Okay, you try in that fashion. A lot of people, at least for their uh, car plate, the number places that they are spending some time. What number to be taken? Let's say your date of birth is 1st May 2011. They are going for the car number with 1511. Conveying the 1st May 2011 is my date of birth. Something like so. People are spending time to choose the vehicle number itself. You also please spend some time to at least pick your mail ID, which is there for your entire career. A lot of people are going with their role numbers. So my BTEC role number is something. Came on fine art one at the rate gmail.com. Fine art one, okay, fine. When they ask question, you say that yeah, this is my fine art one is my okay, or ring fine art one. Okay, so that number is then think in that way, right? So but let's say fine art one is the roll number. Okay. If you are done, they may ask question in uh, interview, are you interested for higher education? If you say yes, then in MTech and MS again you'll get new roll number. Again, you want to create new mail ID. Means you are narrow minded. You are narrow minded. Marco Sala only, but it's a very close. So, your recent film, you have that everything. So, fine, okay, so narrow minded, right? So, you have to think about it. So, you just spend some time to create that mail ID, and you need every reason to that. And don't put lengthy things, 20 characters. You try to make it characters around 10 to 11 or 12. Because every time you're applying for a company, you need to type. Okay, you may do some mistakes also. Somebody wants to send to mail for you also. If it is 20 characters, they will kill. Better, okay, that should be. Okay, 12 to 15 suggested. Less than 12 also, no problem. Small, simple. If it is 8 characters also, okay, but don't go for more than 12 or 13 characters. All together, including numbers, all this, this is okay. If it's smaller than that, also okay. Fine, okay. So, something you need to spend some time to create your mail ID's portion. 